Hi, so greatest news that is making headline all over Europe is that BBC, Kevin is, Kami, is the UK deal working? Ask the UK. The Supreme Court said that your country is not safe. Is it safe for refugees? Ask the UK. It is the UK's problem, not the one that's problem. But you're giving hundreds of millions of UK taxpayers money with not a single refugee. It is going to be used on those people who will come. If they don't come, we can return the money. Rwanda has acknowledged the end of expulsion deal, right? And in another article on their ABC, they're saying Rwanda says it is aware of the United Kingdom's intention to terminate contentious deportation scheme. And this the sub uh, subheading goes that Rwanda's government says it is aware of the UK's intention to terminate its plan to deport asylum seekers to the East African country. Now you know the contentious asylum deal that Rwanda signed with the conservative government and everyone opposed it it went to the high court in the UK ended up in the court of appeal then eventually it's currently in the supreme court being there debated there and they went back as a matter of fact the supreme court kind of shot it down they went back and tried to come up with another version of the same to see whether they can send asylum black african asylum seekers in the UK to Rwanda. Now, they were saying it is a deterrence. It is supposed to deter black asylum seekers making their way to the UK. As, as, a, as a matter of fact, they were calling them illegal asylum seekers. And they picked Rwanda because it's not, in the eyes of the European, Rwanda is not a good country that asylum seekers would want to go there. It's an oppress, oppressive regime. Free speech is non-existent in Rwanda. Uh, there's no freedom of journalism. And basically, if you are in Rwanda, it's basically a, a, a prison, a large prison. And everyone is a spy in Rwanda. You know that. I mean, we've been saying this. And from stories I hear from people I meet who have left Rwanda, they tell me everyone is a spy in Rwanda. You can't discuss government matters with even your own brother because you don't know maybe he's on the payroll of Paul Kagame now back to the story so it was supposed to be a deterrence and people from Eritrea Ethiopia Sudan because Sudan currently is going under that war civil war and people from Congo as you know Congo is going through also hard times created by the UK and Rwanda in Congo and I keep saying that and then we have Somalia a situation that has not gotten better since 1993 that is 31 years later and people pay traffickers to take them through countries like chad all the way to libya we saw those videos where in libya they were being enslaved and then after that after maybe working as a slave there you pay off your debt to these traffickers then you are managed to, to get on a boat you cross the mediterranean we see a lot of people dying every year, more than 10,000 people died trying to cross that Mediterranean. And then eventually you make it to the other side. Uh, it happens that you are an English speaker, so you can't easily find a job in Italy. They don't speak English unless you go to a farm, orchard where they have grapes and apple, and they don't pay those farmers anyway. They still treat them as slaves. Or you go to France where they speak are Francais. You don't speak France. Then you see the English Channel. You decide it's easy to pay someone to smuggle across the English Channel. And that's what they do. And then they end up in the UK. These are guys from Khartoum, Sudan. They speak English. These are Somalis. They speak English. These are Eritrean who speak English. So they find themselves in the UK. And the UK government says that they don't want you. So they try to, they capture you, uh, they take you to this island they have there where they put you for, for a while, like a prison. And then they tell you that the only way you get freedom is if you accept to sign some document to be deported to, of all places, Rwanda. So Rwanda is not a good place. That's why it's being used as a deterrence. If they were sending them to Botswana or sending them to Tunisia, most of these migrants would say, okay, give me, where do, should I sign? 
because i mean these are some of the safest and good countries to live in but they took them to the worst country in africa rwanda but they it was also a, a, a way of kind of money laundering because every asylum seeker who was supposed to be sent to rwanda was going to cost uh the uk government about a million pound in uh in two years that's crazy and people there were actually arguing that why don't you give these migrant a million pounds and tell them to go to another country of their choice a million pounds is a lot oh but they was no no we want to pay it to the president of rwanda instead so rwanda was expecting 600 million british pound in the next three years for this plan but then last week we saw parliament election taking place all across europe and these new conservatives and the new cons these are the new conservatives in all these countries these are people who are supporting ukraine these are these are people who want to create the world war three these are people who are buying presidents in Africa and turning them into puppets. The president of Kenya, uh, then giving him IMF, which is causing all those protests. These are people who are buying dictators in Africa like Museveni and Paul Kagame to make them their puppets. The new cons have no morals. So the people in Europe are deciding to choose other parties. So in the UK, for the first time, and they are saying close to 14 years, the country has been ruled by the, that conservative party and for the first time the labor party has won and the first thing the prime minister of the labor party said the first thing <laughs> this is just crazy so this is what he said he said uh, this is what he said actually i'm going to quote him uh prime minister kia stammer had announced on saturday that the migrant plan forged by the ousted conservative government was dead and buried that's what he said when he was asked by a, by a journalist are you going to send uh, migrants to rwanda this is what he said he said that deal is dead and buried in a, you know british accent I, I can imagine he said that is dead and buried and that's what he said so it's dead and as that was happening the president of rwanda ran there quickly to confirm whether what he's hearing is true because he can't trust social media and western media uh despite because you know in rwanda there's no media so he never trusts any media anyway so he ran there to yesterday and he was told that the new policy of the new government is that that migrant deal is dead and buried and as he was coming out one of the bbc journalists and one of those other journalists asked him mr president paul kagame uh, what, what do you say about the migrant deal and the paul kagame says this that uh, this is what he said he says that he's aware that the uk wants to abolish or basically they want to expurge uh, basically to destroy that deal so he said that i'm aware the, U the uk wants to terminate it and then he was asked uh will you refund the money you got and he said no that is the problem of the uk government ask the uk government that's their problem so paul kagame took the money the down payment and he doesn't want to pay it back because he has so far used it to buy private jets and he's telling the journalist in the uk that uh that is a problem so this is what he said to address the crisis of irregular migration affecting the uk a problem of the uk not rwanda that's what he said <laughs> so he says that now the problem is not rwandan problem it's uh, the uk problem they should ask the uk and uh, so on and so on and so on so it has really affected him it has dented his ego it has portrayed rwanda as a very bad country that takes advantage of suffering africans trying to go and make a good living in europe so they work their way to europe they take years some of them take months years to get there and once they get there rwanda wants them to be shipped to rwanda if these sudanese if these somalis if these eritrean wanted to 
to go to Rwanda, they would have gone to Rwanda. I mean, it's they know the way to Rwanda. But they went to the UK, not Rwanda. And now here we had these people planning to take them to Rwanda by force and making money out of it. This is a sadist. Someone who wants to make money out of the suffering of Africans. That is what he does. I keep saying it here. People don't take me seriously. They call me a crazy mad person. And look at the Congo. He's killing people for minerals that he sells to these British and the, the American people. And guys in the Congo are dying. And he doesn't care because he's someone who enjoys the suffering of black people.